It's just a grand illusion. Gonna be pissed cause your neighbors got it made. Dun dun. Something something, it's a grand illusion. It's deep inside, we're all the same. Ain't nobody rich in here. Nobody, nobody is wealthy in here. It's an illusion. So, who has time to have the same mindset? Now, I'm saying that it's extremely rare. And even in the case of myself, of studying law and being an artist is not, they're two different animals. They, it's extremely rare that somebody would be studying law and then and pursue uh, fine arts. It's just, nah, not happening. Now, who in the hell is an industry professional that lives like this, that would have to be an industry professional, that sits around half naked taking booty pictures? Think about it. Look at how big that spot is. Look at how high the ceilings are. Really? You're sitting around taking booty pictures. These people on Instagram, nobody can do this. I'm telling you, I have friends that have tried to, to pursue this, thinking that they're going to get paid thousands a month. And, uh, oh, my OnlyFans is going to blow up. I'm going to get paid, blah, blah, blah. That shit is an illusion. This uh, Mason dad of mine got rich because it looked like he had a hard working life and that shit was all bullshit they gave him that bread because he was one of them this is the point that i'm trying to make is that people that get rich in this place are questionable you got to question them and uh look at the side of the corner of your eye and wonder like what is their deal let's take another look at another one that's popular you don't even need to see her tattoo to get it she's out of place she belongs in an apartment that's uh, not like this, <laughs> not like this, not doing what she's doing with her time. See what I'm saying? Next. Another popular one. She's in Miami, Florida. The girl looked like she's 22 something years old, just like that other girl. They're all super young. They look great. And uh, what I'm noticing is not only are they living a the high life effortlessly, all they do is just take booty pictures of themselves and they live like this. Here's another thing. It's like they're trying to distract you because they're trying to collect men. As soon as I start giving attention to these people, they immediately start producing more content and it hits my feed automatically. Let's take a look at this girl. Just in case y'all think I'm bullshitting. On her left arm, if you screenshot this and zoom in, you'll see a rose with a snake around it. That's all that is. She's just, these people were all uh, on the they live, we sleep. They don't want us to have anything. And uh, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of it. I don't want to see people struggling while people are taking pictures of their butts. And uh, they're doing nothing. But. What does this also provide for us? When these entities live a life of what appears to be a pampered lifestyle, um, they're not fit for the hardships of triumph. They can't triumph over fucking layman's. They just fucking can't. We start sun gazing, their livelihood, all of this uh, greediness that's happening, this uh, hoarding of wealth <clears throat> is all over. And, uh, hey, if this shit happens at the last minute, if all this stuff, these strategies are all figured out all at the last minute, it's very possible that it might be a clean sweep of these assholes. These motherfuckers might leave and we might not have to do a damn thing. They'll leave on their own. They'll leave this alone. They'll, they'll leave this, uh, we'll leave them behind. They go underground or they have anything to do. They're not coming back. I hope y'all are all listening. Day walkers, wake up. This is over. It's over. The matrix is over. It's all over. We're not going to let it happen again. Fuck that. I'm not even going to say over my dead body because somebody can't wait for me to say that shit. Really? 
I'm telling you, they're desperate. They're desperate. They want you to give yourself up. The creator, she loves us. How can you tell? Listen to Tears for Fears. You find us on our best behavior, turning our back on Mother Nature. Everybody wants to rule the world. So what you know is, is that anything that is uh, being bestowed to us is very vague because cognitive dissonance is ruling the day in here. Uh, we're supposed to know that anything that comes out of their mouths is a lie of their own and that graven languages and graven images are nothing but a bunch of nonsense that we need to stay away from. And that's exactly what was told to us, even though we forgot. We forgot that shit. I can't I can't forget anymore. I can't keep forgetting. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, once you start remembering, you can't forget anymore. This is over. Sun gaze, everybody. There's a bright future ahead and it's going to be without them. Who said that? Neo. Another damn Keanu Reeves, another damn daywalker in here. But they told us. Now it's time for us to take action. In the end of this fucking thing, we will be victorious. This is prophesized. The matrix came. It can't last forever. It's not meant to be. The sun sits in the sky waiting to save us. Go to the light of the world to be saved. They told us. We're doing it. It's over. Welcome to Grim Nasty TV.